first cigarette smoke does not cause lung cancer. The first drop of the tap on the stone doesn't cause a dent. I said one day, but 50 drops later, my husband pulled me aside, he said, Barbara, 10,000 drops later. <laughs> That's a lot of drops before a dent is made. It's a lot of cigarettes before the damage really begins. One glass of alcohol does not cause liver cancer, but you keep it up. Now I've just mentioned a few poisons that many people are aware can cause cancer. When I say cigarettes, I'm not just talking about the nicotine, I'm also talking about just the effect of smoke in the lungs, which should never go there. The body bears long under the abuse. A lady said to me, my father, he's got lung cancer. What's my first question? Is he a smoker? No, he's not a smoker. Has he ever smoked? Well, yeah. How long ago? 10 years ago. For how long? 25 years. 25 cigarettes a day. Oh, but he doesn't smoke anymore. I'm so glad he doesn't smoke anymore. But it still had an effect way back then. It is true that as soon as a person stops smoking, the lungs begin to revive, but sometimes the damage has been very great. But we can strengthen what remains. Alcohol. One of the main causes of liver cancer is alcohol. Our brain is headquarters of the human body, but headquarters has a project manager. It's called liver. <laughs> and the liver's the one that, that uh, processes everything that comes into the body. And if a lot of poisons are coming into the body, the poor old project manager is going to be way down. Cancer cannot get a hold on the body if the liver's functioning well. But God in his wisdom and mercy has, has made the liver the only organ of the body that has the ability to regrow. Did you know that? Oh, God is so good. He's so good that he knew what was ahead. He knew what we'd bomb, be bombarded with, so he gave us a recoverable project manager. Isn't that good news? So one of the first things to do when there has been poisons coming into the body is start to detox a bit and start to get these poisons out. And you can support the liver to do that. Chemicals. Now the chemicals come in so many different ways. I know one in Australia is called Roundup or glyphosate. It was in uh, 2014, the Sri Lankan president, he uh, banned glyphosate. So many of the rice farmers were getting cancer. Even their children were getting sick. As the graphic designers getting that information for me for my new book, as my graphic designers looking at all this, he actually looked up the, the leader in the Sri Lanka and he went, oh no, I said, what's the matter? It's just been legalized again. Eh. Do you know the greatest want of the, want of the world? It's found in the book Education, page 57. The greatest want of the world is the want of men who will not be bought or sold. I don't know, what, what else would cause it to be legalised again? Is it safe now? No, it is not safe. It is not safe at all. And yet we've been told for the last 30 years, Roundup is one of the safer uh, herbicides. But it is not true. 